Chief of Staff ng Armed Forces of the Philippines gusto patalsikan ang kasulukoyang administrasyong pinangungunahan mismo ng Presidente Bongbong Marcos. Political strategies nag-alburoto sa galit at minyudmad sa kahihiyan ng mga taong sakim sa galit na gusto na lamang patalsikan si PBBM sa pwesto upang sila ang maghari-hari ang mamuno. Magandang araw bayan, magandang araw Pilipinas. Panibagong araw na naman at maraming na naman tayong pag-uusapan. Ngunit bago ang lahat, kung hindi ka pa nakakapag-subscribe sa aming channel, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell para mas maging updated ka sa mga newly release naming videos. They can never put a good president down. Ito ang mainit na sagot ng political strategy sa banat ni General Romeo Bronner Jr. sa pambabalahura at sabing pagpaplanong pagpapatalsak kay Pangulong Bongbong Marcos sa kanyang posisyong at papalitan umano nila. Nagugat ang pahayag sa kanyang talumpati na binigkas sa change of command ceremony sa Western Mindanao Command noong biyernes, dito inilahad ng General Nagosto. O nilang patigilan ang Pangulo sa pamunguno nito. Dahil dito hindi nga mapigilan ng mga political strategies na sumagot at sinabing iba umano ang kapal ng mukha ng General Maito. Narito ang kanilang mainit na pahayag. The design is very hashtag ampalaya, anti-government at hashtag bitter. They can never put a good president down. In a speech delivered during the change of command ceremony at the Western Mindanao Command, West Mincom, on Friday, General Romeo Bronner Jr., the Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, AFP, disclosed this information. So sino balak nilang ipalit na replacement? TBBM admin is working really hard to get our economy going. Mabilis lang ang 6 years kaya we are wondering some people are really impatient that instead of helping the government, they find anything, even the smallest faults, just to lambast and mudsling every initiative of President Bongbong Marcos. We will continue to support the banner cry of PBBM and VP Inday Sara Duterte which is to promote and further hashtag unity instead of divisive politics and bickering. Samantala narito ang full report. AFP chief reveals destabilization plot against Marcos. General Romeo Bronner, chief of staff of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, AFP, said that there is a destabilization plot against the administration of President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. Bronner made the disclosure when he presided over the joint change of command and chief of office ceremony of the Western Mindanao Command, West Mincom, and Inspector General, IG, of the AFP at Camp Don Basilio Navarro in this city on Friday, November 3, 2023. Bronner installed Lieutenant General William Gonzalez, a member of the Philippine Military Academy Class of 1989, as the new commander of West Mincom replacing Major General Steve Crespillo, who was designated as the new IG chief of AFP. Bronner said some of those involved in the destabilization plot against the Marcos administration are former AFP officers. I talked to some of them and I told them sir you have the right to do that because we are in democracy. But please do not involve the active personnel of the AFP, Brunner said in his speech. He said they are calling to stage rallies and coup d'etat, citing the president must be replaced. He called on the officers and enlisted personnel of the AFP not to join the destabilization movement warning they will be dealt with accordingly. Once we find out any active personnel involved in this plot, we will act swiftly but judiciously, Bronner warned. Let's have mercy on our country. Let's give our country the chance to move forward to progress, he added. Ulitin ko po ulit itong ibig sabihin ng unity na ito. Some of you have heard this a lot of times, but please bear with me so that we can explain to the others our direction in the armed forces of the Philippines. 
Unity is our acronym. Letter U means unification. We would like to unify the organization, our organization of the Armed Forces in the Philippines, into one solid professional organization. Marami po tayong naririnig ngayon ng mga, ng mga uh, masasabi natin mga destabilization efforts. May mga nagsasabi na dapat palitan ang ating, ang ating malulo no, dahil sa maraming rason. May mga nagsasabi na dapat ay uh, magkaroon ulit ng kundita. And uh, sadly, some of them were former officers of the armed forces of the Philippines. At nakakusap po yung iba sa kanila. Sabi ko sa kanila, Sir, you have the right to do that because we are in a democracy. But please, do not involve the active personnel of the armed forces of the Philippines. Kaya na uh, panawagan ko sa aking mga kasuntaluhan, officers and enlisted personnel, huwag tayong sumama sa mga ganito mga movements, maraming uh, mag-i-encourage, hinihikaya ng individual members natin. Once we find out that any one of our active personnel are involved in this, we will act swiftly, but judiciously. Okay? So, huwag na. Huwag na natin, uh, huwag na tayong mag-isip. Maawa na tayo sa ating bansa. Let's give our, our, our country a chance to move forward to progress. Armed Forces of the Philippines, AFT, Chief of Staff Gen. Romeo Bronner Jr. made the revelation in a speech during the change of command ceremony at the Western Mindanao Command, West Mincom, on Friday. Bronner identified retired military officers behind the plot to destabilize the Marcos government. Marami tayong naririnig ngayon na mga masasabi nating destabilization efforts, Bronner said. May mga nagsasabi na magkaroon muli ng coup d'etat and sadly, some of them were former officers of the AFP and nakausap ko yung iba sa kanila. He also appealed to military members not to entertain invitations to join the destabilization efforts against the government. Panawagan ko sa ating mga kasundaluhan, huwag tayong sumama sa mga ganitong mga movements. Maraming nag-e-encourage yung individual members natin, he added. Once we find out that any one of our active personnel are involved in this, we will act swiftly. So wag na. Wag na tayo mag-isip. Maawa tayo sa ating bansa. Let's give our country a chance to move forward to progress. Anong masasabi niyo ako rito, mga kababayan? Just comment it down below sa comment section and give a massive thumbs up kung nagustuhan mo ang paksang ating tinalakay. At huwag kalilimutang mag-subscribe sa channel na ito. Maraming salamat sa inyong walang sawang panonood.